SpaceX is aiming to launch its next generation Starship rocket on April 20th, the second attempt for the groundbreaking flight after a pressurization issue upended the company's initial test. Teams are working towards Thursday, April 20th for the first flight test of a fully integrated Starship and Super Heavy rocket, the company announced in an updated description of the highly anticipated test mission. This is because SpaceX will need a minimum of two days to prepare the Starship rocket system for another attempt at orbital flight, which the company hopes will be the initial step on a human journey back to the moon and eventually Mars. Right now, a huge caravan of liquid oxygen and liquid nitrogen trucks is refilling the OTF tanks. As confirmed by Musk about the date, this is fate. SpaceX will have a Thursday launch window that opens at 8.28 a.m. CT and closes at 9.30 a.m. The company will also live stream the launch attempt on its website starting about 45 minutes before liftoff. On Monday, the massive Super Heavy rocket booster, which houses 33 engines, was expected to roar to life and vault the Starship spacecraft off its ground pad, which lies within the SpaceX facilities on the coast of South Texas, sending the vehicle soaring out over the Gulf of Mexico. But the launch was called off due to what the SpaceX broadcast said was a pressurization issue. A pressurant valve appears to be frozen, so unless it starts operating soon, no launch today, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk tweeted. The team continued to execute some launch operations and kept the countdown clock going in a practice run referred to as a wet dress rehearsal. Even after making the decision to waive off the launch attempt, they ultimately paused the countdown clock with only 40 seconds left. If the company were to move forward with liftoff, mission controllers would give the rocket a final go for launch at T-30 seconds, according to SpaceX principal integration engineer John Innsbrucker. It's common for first-time launches to be delayed as engineers hash out issues that may not have become apparent during prior testing. The NASA Space Launch System rocket, for example, underwent four attempts to complete a wet dress rehearsal and two launch attempts before the vehicle finally took off in November of 2022. The test flight comes after two years of explosive tests, regulatory hurdles, and public hyping from SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk. In the lead-up to Monday's liftoff, Musk sought to temper expectations, saying success is not what should be expected. That would be insane. He added that if the super heavy booster were to explode on the launch pad, it could melt the steel infrastructure surrounding it, and SpaceX would have to spend a few months rebuilding the launch site. If we get far enough away from the launch pad before something goes wrong, then I think I would consider that to be a success, Musk said during a Twitter Spaces event on Sunday. Just don't blow up the pad, he added. This will be the debut spaceflight of a powerful and complex vehicle, so it wouldn't be surprising if something went wrong. However, unlike NASA, which attempts to avoid risk, SpaceX has a record of showing a willingness to have test flights explode, with Musk saying the private venture benefits from understanding what goes wrong. That said, additional rockets are already being made for future test flights. So, someday not too far away, SpaceX's Starship will definitely revolutionize space exploration. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson loves to boast about the space agency's beast of a moon rocket, the Space Launch System. It's a towering 322 feet taller than the Statue of Liberty, and as Nelson likes to point out, the most powerful rocket in the world, for now at least. Powered by a staggering amount of first-stage engines, 33 to be exact, Starship would have nearly twice the thrust of the SLS, and unlike NASA's SLS which falls into the ocean after its payload is launched, the stainless steel Starship is designed to return to a soft landing on Earth, to be used again. If the SLS represents a traditional government approach to rocket design, one that uses hardware originally designed in the 1970s for the space shuttle, Starship symbolizes spaceflight's modern entrepreneurial bent. Starship is designed to be refueled in orbit, allowing SpaceX to hoist an unprecedented amount of cargo and potentially dozens of people to deep space. And because it will be reusable, it is expected to be far less expensive to operate than the SLS. 
The promise of Starship and SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk's assertion that the vehicle could make life on Mars real have attracted legions of fans. For years, they have jammed Musk's presentations on the rocket, obsessively tracked its design iterations, and made pilgrimages to SpaceX's Starship facility in a remote corner of South Texas the company calls Starbase. But Starship also has won over NASA, which has placed the rocket at the center of its exploration goals. In 2021, the space agency awarded SpaceX a $2.9 billion contract to use it as the vehicle that would land astronauts on the surface of the moon, giving it a starring role in NASA's campaign to return people to the lunar surface as part of its Artemis program. Its launch will be the first time SpaceX has attempted to fly the full vehicle, the Starship spacecraft mounted on top of the Super Heavy Booster. A successful launch will be no small feat, especially given the size and complexity of the rocket. With a test such as this, success is measured by how much we can learn, which will inform and improve the probability of success in the future as SpaceX rapidly advances development of Starship. SpaceX said in a statement. And if it does fly successfully, Starship would serve not only as a vehicle for exploration, but for science as a whole. With its ability to hoist enormous amounts of mass to orbit, astronomers and astrophysicists are rethinking what sorts of telescopes and instruments can be catapulted into space. In its fully reusable configuration, Starship would be able to lift more than 100 metric tons, or more than 220,000 pounds to the moon and even more to low Earth orbit, according to a SpaceX user's guide from 2020. By contrast, the current version of SLS is capable of hoisting 27 metric tons to the moon, according to NASA. With a pending upgrade, that would increase to 38 metric tons. Assuming it is successful, Starship will dramatically enhance our space capabilities in ways that will qualitatively alter how astrophysics missions can be built, predicted an article in Physics Today written by a trio of astronomers and physicists. Astrophysics missions to space have always been tightly constrained by the capabilities of the launchers, which have not changed substantially in two decades. A report last year by the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine found that starships can accommodate payloads that are significantly larger and heavier than traditional NASA planetary payloads, significantly reducing the need for the costly reductions in size and mass required for traditional NASA payloads. It's quite simple, really. When you design any mission for astronomy, you're very limited by the mass available in the rocket. Martin Elvis, a senior astrophysicist at the Harvard and Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics said in an interview. The James Webb Space Telescope, for example, had to be designed to be folded so it could be stuffed into the nose cone of the Ariane 5 rocket that shot it to space. The total mass was nearly 14,000 pounds, far less than what Starship would be able to accommodate. Your whole development process, your whole design process becomes so much simpler, he said, and that saves enormous amounts of cost. Indeed, Starship's cargo space is so generous that it may take a while for the space industry to to grow into it. Anyways, SpaceX needs to launch successfully first, and here's wishing all the best for them on 420. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Please don't forget to share your ideas in the comment section down below because everyone's support motivates us to create more quality videos like this. And for that, we thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again next time.